All right, here we go. Got a brand new day of recording ahead of us. I have been eager to play this game for like the last 24 hours. I did the first two videos kind of back to back, and then I took like a break. Everybody's asleep right now. I got everything to myself. I am chilling. Thank you for all like supporting this series so far. If you want more of this game, quickly just each day until we finish it. Let's keep it up. We should be right where we left off. I've never like continued, so I guess I'll just kind of see how it goes in like real time. All right, we're kind of just thrown back in. Nice. All right, free the rebels. Let's see what we got here. Looks like we got one to the left. Person in front of us. They're actually behind a explosive thing we can actually break. Anybody up here? We got one. Should I go? Well, I feel like I should either just like climb straight up or let's see if they turn. There's somebody to the right as well. Okay. Whatever. Let's go for it. So what we do is we whistle. Maybe they get close and we can like take them down. You know. I'm completely relying on them getting close. Okay. We got one. I didn't see anybody in there. Really, the whistle doesn't get him. Nothing. Well, if they turn around, I'll just go after him. Plain and simple. Or I could escape. There we go. Let's go this way. Please be alone. I didn't scan the whole area. Very nice. I was going to say this in the intro, I have played a lot of games like the last maybe, well, the last 13 years of my life or so. <laughs> Play a lot of games then, but... Oh, we can tag them. I mean, we already kind of know where they are though, right? We can just scan. Oh, we didn't know where one was over here, hold on. Okay, there's another one, let's see. Is it just the two? Huh. But I think I'm coming off of games like Starfield, the Cyberpunk DLC, stuff like that, where the games are a lot more technical. So when I was playing this, I was just, it felt just, just fun, you know? I mean, it's an Assassin's Creed game. We've, you know, we've all been here before. It just feels like this is exactly what I wanted to play right now, you know? I don't think I can make, can a throwing knife go that far? Hold on. It's not going to kill, so I don't want to use it. We're going to go straight across here. <clears throat> Please don't see me. There's a person down there. They may see this. I don't know. Please fall backwards. Please fall backwards. Are we still oh, we got more down there. Well, I think if I could test it out, and I won't really know this until afterwards... If I test out throwing the knife, will it kill them? You know what I mean? If I hit like the barrel or whatever. Not the barrel, but the... Whatever that's called. Hello? Very nice. Ammo is full. Okay. It's like it wants you to do that. You know what? I'm tempted just to try it out. Let me, uh, let me climb up a little bit. It's either gonna go really bad or really good. Why can't I, like... Let's get them both together. Wait for it. Double kill? Nobody's alerted. Everybody's chilling. Nice. Alright. Now we know. I'm not going to go for every single thing in the game, but I think for the most part, anything I see that catches my eye, I'm going to go for it. They're going to definitely see those bodies. I wonder, can I assassinate from all the way up here? Oh, by the way, after the last video, I went through and I equipped pretty much. So I had like the outfit die. I put that on. We got two different outfits. We have this one and then this one. I prefer this one right now. And it actually has, like, stats on them, too. Silent Blade. Enemies near 50% less noise 
Oh, no, they hear 50% left. Okay. During assassinations. And there's one that goes all the way to 100%. And uh, obviously, you can upgrade it. It kind of reminds me of... Well, I guess Valhalla a little bit. Valhalla. Talisman. And then... I don't know. What does this even do? Oh, the hourglass. Okay. And we got two different daggers. I saw this one and I was like, okay, parry is still 25% extra damage to defense. And then this one right here is the perfect parry. Slow down time for three seconds. I don't really know if I would use that as much, but the sword also has that. We got this one, the sand sword. They like Prince of Persia a little bit. Kelly, I mean, while uh, slow down. So I feel like this would be paired with the other one, but I like it better than this. If you parry the next attack, that's 50% more damage. I feel like that's useful, but in a game like this, I don't want to be, like, out fighting a group of enemies too much, you know? Here's my... Hey, what? <laughs> what? Why would it go there? There we go. That's so strange. It auto-locks to, like... Hold on, I'm about to get spotted. Easy. Easy. Climb up quickly. I think we're okay. Maybe. Maybe not. How you doing? Oh, and also use... So I had another skill point. Had this one unlocked first. Pathfinder. I went ahead and just chose this because the auto-collect. That's why you're seeing, like, the loot kind of pop up whenever I, uh... Did that assassination just now. The fact that you can reset, I didn't really worry about it too much. Let's just go whatever we find. Alright, so we got those two enemies done. We got the key here. Now we got that. Okay. Because there's one rebel in this little house here. Hold on. Thank you. Get to the docks. Find Beshi. Nice. Upgrade materials. All right, new orders. All right. Yo, what's up here? I think why I'm liking this game so much right now is because it feels really bare bones for an Assassin's Creed game. It's like, hey, we know what works. Let's just use it again, you know? And this feels like a step in the right direction as far as making it more linear. I felt like Valhalla, while I think it was an incredible game... I never finished. Like, I think I was like 40 hours in and I had to like throw in the towel. I was just like, I just can't, you know. Um, at a certain point, I was hitting like Death Stranding numbers where it was like I was halfway at 40 hours. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, it might be a little too long. I know a lot of people that didn't even finish it, but I don't think Odyssey was that way, you know. I felt like Odyssey was a very uh, well balanced as far as like it's our first time doing like a huge RPG style. But the story wasn't as long, I felt like. If I can get them to split up. Maybe, hold on, let's just. What's happening? I probably should have gotten the, uh, Ben or whatever. Let's just go around. Let's actually just go to the ship over there. So how do we get past them, I wonder? I think we hook left. Maybe we can climb up on the back of the ship? I'm not sure. This feels like it's all connected. I think you can carry those. Oh, this is so sick. And this is here for a reason, too. Got him. Oh, I, it actually connected. <laughs> that was a Hail Mary right there. Oh, what is back here? Hold on. Uh, what? You can't move left or right with it. Wait, you can. Kind of. It's like a puzzle within a puzzle, okay. Yeah. I think we gotta go back. It's 
kind of weird. It's like it's stuck there. I'm assuming... Hold on. If we do this one... Maybe we can, like, break the wood next to us. I don't know. Because I feel like this is kind of a lost cause. There's probably nothing in here worth it. Hold on. Let me scan. Oh, my God. That's a big chest. I bet there's something good in there. Hold on. <laughs> Ah, there we go. Alright, figured it out. I don't know what's in here, but it's gotta be good. Uprising outfit. Interesting. Gear chest one of six in this area. Okay. Let me actually check that out. Brand new outfit. Let's see. Oh, that's clean. I like that. That's actually really clean. Okay. I think I might still rock this for now. But it's cool we got that. Alright, there's two out of three. Very nice. Alright, last one's to the left. Here we go. Yeah, this feels like a tutorial type thing where they want you to just like experiment with how you want to take out enemies and stuff. The problem is if I throw a knife at that. Like it's going to detonate. It's going to be a problem. Hmm. I think the best way to do this is maybe go to the left side over there. They're really close. Don't spot me, please. Go in peace. We're good, we're good, we're good. It's nothing. Woo! Okay. So why did I get Noridi for that? But not all the other kills. You know? I feel like no matter what happens, I gotta kill these two enemies right here. Hmm. There's like nowhere to really go, I feel like, with it. Because if I whistle, they're what, gonna come up the steps? Other than getting in like that, but... Seems like it'd be kind of an unlikely thing. This seems like the only solution here. Alright, last one. Here we go. How you doing? That should be all of them. That is the last. I must regroup with them. All right, I gotta go reduce the Noridi level. We'll call it the wanted level probably a lot. <laughs> right, let's go over here. So I kind of wonder who's like the big bad of this game is going to be, you know? I don't feel like we've met him yet. Okay, we're good. Woo. No! There we go. You are a hound, Basim. I am only doing my part. Together, we will see the end of what ails this city. Look no further than our ghoul, the man only spoken of and never seen. What can you tell me about him? He takes enemies of the Caliphate and makes them dig in the desert. Prisoners, rebels, laborers, in search of what? I do not know. These men were captured with Ali weeks ago and were destined to perish beneath the sands. Not Ali. He's been taken elsewhere. They marked and separated us. <sighs> Ali was in another group. They wanted to question him about... ...you... ...and your... ...friends. Can you show me this marking? What are you thinking? Ali and Noor got close enough to Al Ghul that he took notice. If we find Ali, he can lead us to Al Ghul. Mm. It is but one path. 
There may be another. I will go where these men were being sent to dig, and pose as a captive. Are you mad? Only stubborn. Here, take this. What do I do with it? It is a Hidma token. Those who understand its value will do what is in their power to help. I will send these men to regroup at the water mill on the northern outskirts. A rebel stronghold. You are welcome there. Wafakak Allah. Barak Allah Hufiq. My search for Ali continues. The Sharia district may provide some clues as to his whereabouts. All right, open investigation. Let's go ahead and see. We got these tokens as well. Okay. All right, so we got a lot of uh, stuff we need to do still. Okay. At the factory district. Okay, north. I'm kind of wondering, so, with a lot of these types of missions, I wonder if there's like a specific order they want you to go in, or it really doesn't matter, you know? Seems like it's kind of a free-for-all. Oh, we got the token still, too. Okay, so right now we got the power token. This person over here. So here's what's weird. We have that option, but we can just do this, can't we? And save it? Unless it's something else. Let's see. We'll take a quick look over here. Okay, so that's like if you want to just get rid of the whole thing, I'm guessing. Or at least a third of it. Okay. Investigation. Let's go ahead and go to... We'll track this. To find the contact. Factory district. Okay, where is that at? Does it really like show? Oh my goodness. Okay. Man, this is cool. It's like... What is this? Okay, we gotta go over there. We'll just follow that. How far away is that icon? Do we have to actually mark it? I'm guessing we do. Uh, we'll just place a marker right there, I guess. Okay, it's right up here. It's really cool. It's like... Play your way, essentially. You kind of thrown into an Assassin's Creed sandbox. Have fun. And it seems like the leveling up system is about the same as Valhalla. Not as it... I feel like... Odyssey was pretty over the top. That was as close to like a Diablo style loot system I've ever seen in this type of game. I thought it worked for it though. It really did. But I think that's what kind of makes that one unique compared to the other one. That's why I liked it so much. It's because I'm a huge RPG fan. And when I see stuff like crit hit chance or headshot damage increase, you know, all that stuff just kind of, I'm like, oh, let's go ahead and get that one. All right, where's this person? I feel like with every area, I always go the wrong route getting to like where we need to go. I'm assuming this is the right way. Yeah, they're right there. Okay. Is there anything more you can tell me about the Sharia district? Why would it be of interest to Noor? The people there are in quiet support of the rebels. Common folk, workers, merchants. Come to think of it, Noor did make mention of a new contact. A merchant. It may be this merchant dwells in Ashara, among the dying leather factory workers. I will keep an eye out for a stall.
Alright, at the dying factory. Okay. Oh, we're yeah. not going up there. Never mind. <laughs> that thing is barred off completely. Yeah, I appreciate all of you joining me on this series so far. I just feel like this is one of those games that I was looking forward to, and the fact that it's finally here and it's exactly what I was imagining, you know? And more, I feel like. I love the system they got in place. Show me everything. I do feel like the bird's kind of cheating a little bit. <laughs> Not quite, but you, you get the idea. Oh. <gasps> They hop in your arms. That's so sick. I love how they kind of went the extra mile with it. You know, like most games, it's like, can you pet the dog? Can you pet the cat? And this one, the cat just hops in your hands, you know? I mean, is this a safe area? It doesn't say, like, anything crazy, so... I feel bad pickpocketing in this game, you know? Like, I know it exists for a reason, but it's like, we're trying to help out everybody. It's like, yeah, let me steal that real quick. Which is kind of funny. Just a moment. Darwish. Basim? Azizi. I thought you were dead. I feared the same. What are you doing here? You. Your clothes. You are one of them now. How? A hidden one. Under Roshan's guidance. Oh, forgive me. This is all too much. When I did not find you among the dead, I hoped that somehow you had escaped. I spent many nights praying for your life, praying that you found safety. Today, Allah has answered me. I am not worthy of your prayers. What happened that night was not your doing. It was the doing of evil men. You know this. It is why you have chosen to walk this path. It is why I have found my way to Baghdad. Ali ibn Muhammad is brash and sees himself a great hero of prophecy. I loathe the man, but we fight a common enemy. One I must help defeat if my soul is to one day rest. So it is true. You are the rebel merchant who was helping Noor. What has become of him? He clings to life, but he is safe among our people. I am to continue his work and hunt Baghdad's oppressors. Ali was helping Noor get closer to one such man. But as you may know, he has since disappeared. He hasn't disappeared. He has been captured, a fate shared by many rebels of late. Do you know where he is being held? He was taken to the Khurasan Gate guardhouse. But that was weeks ago. You even leave like they do. It is good to see you again. Just watch yourself. You may be in better hands, but I'm still a nagging old man. I'm Basim. If ever you are feeling a little thievish, come see me. I could use your help. Uh, for a good cause, of course. All right, here we go. Multiple cases have been unveiled, okay. What is the one that's currently marked right now? Here we go. This is going to be so sick. Okay. Tracking that one, we also have this now, we got the shop. We got a skill point, apparently, okay. What does this next one cost? Cost two, interesting. Three, four, four. Okay. Well, that's kind of odd. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so we got the... I mean, it almost makes you think they want you to just, like, get one of each first. You know? The kickback is cool, but I don't really know if I like that too much. That right there is really nice, though. Focus capacity, let's see. Chain Assassination, that's one I really liked when I played it early on. Plus, I think every Assassin's Creed has that. 
counter roll. That's pretty sick. Focus boost. Okay. Yeah, I think I might just hang on to it for now. Unless I... You know what? Let's just spend it. I wanted to see something really quick. Cause this is always like glowing on the back. Does this even really do anything? Hourglass. According to legend, one such vessel contained sands that held a fearful power that would wreck... Oh, would wreak havoc. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I mean, I can unequip it, but I think it looks kind of flashy. I'll keep it on. Now nah, it pops up. Interesting. I do wonder if there'll be parts of the game. So I'm assuming you'll have like this big investigation. You kind of go from like person to person, place to place. Getting clues. That's what I kind of saw when I played it early. And it kind of mimics everything I'm doing right now. It's like, down to the T. It's like, exactly what I was thinking it'd be. I do wonder if it's worth it to... I'm going to try to save all my tokens as much as I can. I'll probably like always go for like the posters if I need to like get rid of my... I guess wanted level or whatever they call it. I don't know how I didn't fall through right there. Hello? Alright, Blacksmith and Taylor Services. Let's go ahead and check this out. Hold on. Well met. Good to see you. Let us see what you have got. Here's what I've got. Alright, upgrading gear. Let's see. Upgrade effects, that's right. Up in appearance. Okay. Take care of the suit that takes care of you. Alright, so we're missing a little bit. Leather and still is kind of like the two things you need for a lot of this stuff. Yeah, I think I'm good right now. Is all I really like how each outfit has its own, like, special perk or whatever. Nothing further. That'll be all. I have to go. Be well, Sahib. See ya. When we got the shop, I think you can buy, like... I'm not sure what all you can buy there, actually. I should probably just, like, check it out since I haven't been to one yet. Like, I'm trying to shop and it wants me to pickpocket. That's kind of funny. Hello. Welcome. Reduce prices by 10%. I remember that. Okay. What have you got today? Lots to peruse, I assure you. All right, traders. You got a quick refill. Sell trinkets, okay. Very handy. I don't have a lot. Quick refill is going to cost 15. I might just wait. And get different dyes. I don't know why this reminds me of, like, Ghost of Tsushima a little bit. Alright, here's other ones. Interesting. Have some gear to men? So if I wanted to upgrade my outfit, I could pretty much spend all my currency here, get what I'm missing, and then go That's do that. Useful tool. Uh, I think I'm good. Well, I'm just going to save everything right now. I will see you later. Safe travels. <laughs> I'm gonna see you later, alright. Alright, let's see. We're going the right way. Now, I don't know what it is. This game is just a lot of fun to play. It's like it doesn't really do anything different that the other Assassin's Creed haven't already done, you know? The outpost Ali was taken to. I just feel like it's just... It's like perfect. <laughs> it's exactly what I wanted to play right now. Alright, search the outpost. It's gonna be a... Uh, Tough area, I feel like. Alright, we got some guards to the right. We can also go up higher. Is there anybody up there? We going up? Oh my goodness. We got one. Okay. I gotta get this quickly. 
Oh no. Oh no. Hold on. It won't take long. The fact that it didn't actually do anything, come on. There we go. That must be another, like, main chest or whatever. Okay, let me crouch and then do this. What? I feel like it's... I really didn't even see anything when it did that. Our health is full. Okay, what we got here? Well, let's make noise. 